All right, so during the screencast, I'm gonna go over a project that I made actually uh, to apply for the Twilio um, apprenticeship program. Uh, so I heard about the program about five days ago and I got really excited about it. So I started researching into Twilio as uh, different APIs and I thought the uh, video one looked the most fun to do, especially since uh, the, all the shelter in place that's going on. So uh, I developed the front end in React um, and then I developed the back end in Express in Node.js. So for the front end, um, what I did was take you through uh, the user flow. First, the user creates a room, and I use the Axios uh, module. Um, and I use the post method on the Axios um, um, module to uh, send a post request to the back end endpoint. So the endpoint I had was slash room. Um, and in that post request in the body, I sent the room name, uh, which I saved in this dot state dot room name. So I saved in the uh, component state. I got this from an input, which I double binded. Um, and in the back end, in my back end endpoint right here, you see right here, I catch the post request. Um, and then uh, the endpoint and the slash room endpoint, um, I get the room name out of the request um, this body uh, dot room name. Uh, uh, property, and then I use the client.video.rooms.create uh, method in the Twilio backend API to create a room name, and I, uh, sorry, to create a room, and I use the unique name uh, property to set the name. After that, if all goes well, uh, I use the dot then promise to return the full room, um, and I, I use the send method on the response to send back that room to the front end. Um, and then here, if I, once I get the response, I use I set the state using the set state method. Um, I set the room and I set the room name. Uh, afterwards, if uh, everything goes well, additionally if everything goes well, so this uh, first I respond I chain two then the first then and a second then. With the second then, um, I uh, alert that the room was successfully created, so that way the the user knows uh, that something went wrong. I alert the actual uh, error. Oh, sorry, I alert to them that it's successfully created. If it wasn't, I, I chain a dot catch onto it to alert to the user the error and also log the error uh, message to the console. So first the rumor, the user creates a um, room and then afterwards the user uh, joins the room. Well, at least this is, this is for the first user that actually joins, right? Um, now in order to join, the user has to uh, create a token. So I create a get token method and so when the user uh, clicks uh, join room first. I generate token. I again use Axios with my second endpoint, which is slash token. Sending in the params, which actually is in the query. I sent the room in room name in that uh, as a parameter called room, and uh, I access the room name from the this from my state that I saved on my component. Sending that to the backend um, in order to generate a token. So my so here is my second endpoint right here. Uh, room joining. Uh, in order to generate a token, you need the room name um, and uh, also uh, a bunch of other stuff which I put into this create access token method and I put that into this util.js file. So for that, I required uh, the figure module and I also required the access token from uh, the Twilio uh, module. Um, so here's my actual helper method. Uh, so here you need to have three things, your account SID, your API key, and API secret, which I have those all right here. And also you put an identity onto the access token. I Actually, this was the main problem I was having because for some reason, even though I started out having uh, two different identities on uh, two different people that are joining the rooms, because that one person being me in one browser, another person being me in another browser, which should have been uh, two different people. Um, it was not. It was counting as the same person for both uh, different browsers. So even though I was using this uh, Faker library, um, I found that out by putting in a logger in uh, a, a error log in the connect function, which printed out um, all the errors. Uh, Print out a bunch of stuff, and I found that this was an error that was showing up, and so I just—that's why I made this token to make sure that it generated a unique name every single time. So that was a pro one of the big problems I had to figure out. Um, so afterwards, I sent back uh, the token, and then, and then in the front end, uh, give the token, 
set the token to the state. Um, if all went well, I would join the room. And then here I would use, dun, 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 here, I would use the uh, connect uh, function from the Twilio front end SDK, um, sending the token and also the room name to back to the, uh, uh, not sending it, sorry, put it into the connect function. Um, and then once the room, if the room was generated correctly, I would notify the, the, the user the room was joined. Um, I would set the state to the room. Uh, notify the local user when participants entered the room. Um, so this way uh, they would know when someone entered into the newly created room that they made. Um, I also added uh, the local media to the state. So this way, uh, once you actually joined in, your video doesn't automatically show up. You would click uh, uh, add video or click remove video or click add audio, click remove audio. And this is purely just um, on your side. Um, I wasn't able to, to figure out how to actually uh, remove the tracks uh, fully from both sides. But yeah, this is a really fun project. I really liked uh, using the Twilio uh, API. Um, I really look forward to kind of keeping making more modifications to this little app and making it better for the future.